Here's some behind the scenes for Media Dodger Episode 11, The Tower of Draga. These scenes with the wizard were the first scenes I shot. I figured I had to get these out of the way before anything else. What you're looking at here is the raw footage. This would later be shown on the TV and the camera shoots the scene pointing at the TV. It was just me in my room with no other objects, just me in my wizard costume against a blank wall. The costume itself is pretty cheap, just my graduation robe along with a wizard hat and fake beard. It seemed to do the job though. Just add the reverb effects to my voice and we're all set. I go over this in more detail in the commentary for this episode. The scenes with me in the car were pretty straightforward, both for the wizard and the dodger. I just sat down in the seat with the camera on the tripod on the opposite seat pointing at me. Then with that scene where I'm starting the car to drive off, I had that same tripod on my lap. I originally also shot a scene where the car drives down the street away from the camera, but the license plate number showed so I cut that out. For that same reason, you won't be seeing that shot in this video. Yeah, it's pretty basic stuff as far as shooting the video goes. Now, as I was getting late into editing this video, I started deleting some scenes for the purpose of pacing. I am about to show these scenes right now. Here's the first scene, which comes after I talk about the Grey Mages on floor 12. Roll the clip. As if that wasn't enough, there's these slime variants that fire spells. To get the gauntlet on floor 10, which is one of the things you need for the hyper gauntlet on floor 26, I'd need to block a spell from a red slime. They only have two conditions for firing spells. One, they do it in the direction they last went. Two, they have to feel like firing a spell. And it can be real exhausting waiting for them to fire a spell. If they're not killing you with a spell when you're just about to get into position to defend yourself, they're just waltzing into your position after you got impatient waiting for them and decided to come closer. A piece of trivia about this scene is that after this scene was supposed to have been when I started talking about the ability to continue the game from where you left off after losing all your lives. Only problem, in the scene you saw, that was not my last life. And not only that, when I cut this scene, I needed to rearrange where I put the game over discussion now. I once thought of putting it in the middle of when I was talking about Floor 19 with the Orange Mages, but I could never find an appropriate place to put it, and I was already done with filming, and I didn't want any jarring audio cuts. I didn't record the narration lines from my computer. For a consistent voice, I recorded all lines, both on-screen and off-screen, with the same device. I only started the editing after I was all done. I didn't want inconsistent voice or a jarring cut in the video. So, I decided to put the game over after I said, have fun fighting a knight while dealing with the mages. That part was one of quite a good amount of instances where I accumulated a game over, so it fit very well. Here's the next deleted scene. This was supposed to be before I talked about Floor 19, after I talked about a little something called Tower Draga Fever, obviously in a takeoff of Pac-Man Fever. Roll the clip. Then there's the ghosts. Unless you picked up a candle, you won't be able to see them. But there they are, floating around the map, teleporting through walls, and firing spells. Floor 17, it says to warp the ghosts five times. Warp the ghosts? Don't the ghosts just warp on their own? Whatever, just give me the freaking chest. The reason for the removal had nothing to do with the choice of words as seen in the footage that alter a bit from what I said. I said warp the ghosts, but the objective said make ghosts warp. I got most of my wording from Namco Museum DS, which was my first exposure to the game, and also the internet. But the choice of words in this next scene was another reason for its removal but was not the reason for this scene. Roll the next clip. Floor 23 is at least a bit more tolerable, but as the instructions specifically state, only kill the mages. If you kill a slime, the chest doesn't appear. But once you're done with the mages, you get the Bible, which is an upgraded version of the Book of Light on floor 19, which only lets you shoo away the darkness from a few floors. This one lets you see all the floors, and yes, it really is called the Bible. As you can see in the footage, it's not called the Bible. Not in the Switch version, at least. In Namco Museum DS, and in many other versions I know, it was called the Bible. 
It makes sense. The Bible lights up the rest of the tower. You can't see the rest of the mazes without it. Just like how the Bible in real life can illuminate your soul. I guess they changed it to Holy Book in the Switch version to avoid direct religious reference, which they didn't seem to have a problem with ten years prior. I didn't notice this detail until I was editing this part. I wanted to keep it in, but because of that difference, I can't. I could have taken a screenshot from a website that has the walkthrough for this game, but I didn't want a jarring cut between the game footage and my computer. So yeah, that scene was out. Next scene. This one takes place after I was talking about the Dragon Slayer and how cool it is that you don't lose the treasure you collected when you die. You thought it was bad seeing those wisps when the clock's about to expire completely? Try playing Floor 21 while the wisps are already there, dirtbag! To get the treasure here, you have to stand still until it appears. But that just makes you a sitting target for the enemies, especially the wisps. But eventually, I won the waiting game, and my reward is a green ring that protects me from blue wisps. But only the blue ones. But then in Floor 39, I got a red ring after inputting a specific code on the joystick. Up, up, down, 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 down. This one protects me from the red wisps. But as I learn on floor 42, I'm no longer safe from the blue wisps. What the heck? Thankfully, this can be remedied on floor 54 after getting the blue ring. Now you got safety from both blue and red wisps. Yay! As you've probably noticed, all of these deleted scenes have this thing in common. They all talk about different treasures you can accumulate throughout the game. I figured the audience would get pretty bored if most of what they were listening to was me talking about each treasure, like some kind of walkthrough. I'm here to review the game, though reasonably, you wouldn't have found out how to get the treasures without some kind of helping hand. Not unless you're one of those people who can think far outside the box, and I can't imagine there being that many. This last deleted scene addresses the fact that I'm mainly talking about treasures. Before I would go on to try to talk about the music and not finding much to address there, I also talk about yet another treasure. I know I'm mainly talking about treasures here, and it does seem a lot like spoilers, but let's get real. Would you have any idea how to get the treasures in this game without any kind of walkthrough or guide? Of course you wouldn't. The game gives you nothing. It really is a continuous problem. There's so many specifics on how each treasure is to be collected. Even the ones you don't even need! Like this sapphire mace on floor 42. You get it by crossing paths with a red wisp, then grabbing the key, then passing through that same red wisp again. This item does absolutely nothing. You don't need it. It's just a trophy. It's funny how the hint labels it as useful, even though it does nothing, and you don't even need it to beat the game. I'm sure this scene would have been much better edited than this, but first off, the game footage I recorded for the episode didn't show me collecting the Sapphire Mace. And second, this scene is about as useless as the Sapphire Mace itself. Well, that's it. Be sure to check out the commentary too. Thanks for watching.